Hi there, welcome to video number 163. This one is on similar shapes and we're finding missing lengths here in this. So uh, keywords are similar and linear scale factor. If something is similar, it is the same shape, but a, a different size. And a linear scale factor is the uh, number in which we use to scale up something, make it bigger or smaller. So if it's a positive integer, um, it's going to be sometimes bigger. If it's a, a fraction, then it's going to be sometimes smaller whatever that number is, however many times smaller it is or how many, however many times bigger it is. Um, I'll shut up now and I'll get on with the method. So the method states to find missing lengths and angles you need to understand and use conditions of similarity, which is what I did the last video on for you, uh, similar triangles specifically that was. You'll need to find the linear scale factor. You'll need to know or figure out what that is. Uh, and to do that, you divide the length on the larger shape by the corresponding length on the smaller shape to find the linear scale factor. Um, now, multiply or divide to find the length you need in the problem. Uh, you may need to form and solve an equation. Depends um, how you want to go about your business. Now, number one uh, states the following pair of rectangles are similar. We've got to find the length HG. There's H, there's G. All right, so that's the one that we're interested in. We could call it X if we wanted. Um, this is where we're finding that doing the first step, they're dividing the length on the larger one, EH, by the corresponding length on the smaller one. So 18 divided by 6 is going to give us the, set, the scale factor of 3. Okay, so that's centimeters divided by centimeters as well. So we get this number 3, right? This tri uh, triangle, this rectangle is three times bigger, or the lengths are three times bigger than the lengths on this one, all right? And the world of enlargements helps you understand that as well, all right? All what we have to do, let's pause then, I forgot what I was doing, all right? H to G, that's what we're trying to figure out, all right? So this is a rectangle, this side length here is the same as this side length here, so this side is the same as this side. Well, if that's 18, 18 times three is 54 centimeters, 18 times by 3 equals 18 centimeters times by 3 is 54 centimeters all right and therefore x must also be 54 centimeters so 54 centimeters is our answer to that problem all right nice simple one rectangles normally pretty easy now number two you got three similar triangles uh, you got to find x got to find y got to find z all right so uh, z is probably the easiest one to find because in similar triangles the angles are always going to be the same and that states are similar so this is 65 this is 65 so z is also going to be 65 degrees okay now why um, is this base here now you can see that 3 multiplies by something to make 12 12 divided by 3 would give you 4 so 3 times 4 makes 12 okay uh, but what do we have to do to multiply to get here all right that, that's a, a lot more complicated we don't know so the thing that we have to do all right um, is 39 divided by 7.8 because that's our corresponding side length that we've got okay so that's the calculation I will do to find y 39 centimeters divided by 7.8 centimeters and what I'll do is I'll pause that and get a calculator in boom as if by magic uh, 39 divided by 7.8 equals 5 okay so I know that that middle triangle there uh, is five times smaller than this large triangle here or the dimensions are and then all we have to do is multiply the 12 by 5 um, so that is 60 60 centimeters 12 times 5 that found me y okay so 60 centimeters is the length here of y i'm going to get rid of that work in there so we can do the working for the other one okay now i mentioned that the smaller triangle here has a base of three and this uh, middle triangle here has a base of 12 this is four times bigger than this one 12 divided by three is four so this calculation you would do is 12 divided by three centimeters centimeters divided by um one right divided by again equals four I'm a bit tired i think that's why i'm just a bit like making a few kind of mistakes here 12 centimeters divided by three centimeters equals four all right so our scale factor here is four then we're going to have to take this 7.8 and we want the smaller length this time all right we don't want a larger length so we're going to divide by that scale factor and that's going to tell us the answer 
to the problem. So 7.8 divided by 4 equals 1.95. All right, which makes sense because it's a smaller uh, length um, than the middle triangle's length, right? And we've got it the right way around, okay? And there's our three different answers. Finding X, finding Y, finding Z, right? Z is the easiest, like I said at the beginning, because always the angle is going to be the same. Okay, um, let's look at the third and final question here. In the diagram below, AB is parallel to EF, AE and BF intersect at point C. I've used this in another couple of videos, um, but I've changed the dimensions on it. First of all, we've got to find the length FE. So FE is here to here. Now, first of all, we have to understand that this triangle here, FCE, is a similar triangle to ABC, ABC, all right? And that's because of these parallel lines that are going on here. All right, this angle is the same as this angle. This angle is the same as this angle. All right, and this angle here is the same as this angle here. All right, all three angles are definitely the same. These two are because of the parallel lines. All right, and this one therefore has to be as well. All right, and they're vertically opposite as well. All right, so um, they're definitely similar triangles. All right, now this one um, matches this one over here so you could kind of think about rotating that around if you if you like around that point c and then you'll see which ones match with which so c to e matches with a to c okay that's 1.5 meters all right that's 30 centimeters now i'm going to convert that into 150 centimeters all right so everything's in centimeters and that's going to be 180 centimeters all right there's the first thing you'd need to do in that problem all right, and CB corresponds with FC, okay, and AB corresponds with FE. We need to find the length FE. Let's get our scale factor. We can get that from this length here and this length here. We can see that AC uh, needs to be multiplied by 5 to give us CE. Okay, so the scale factor, I'm just going to write down, equals 5, just to remind myself of what it is, all right. 150 divided by 30, let's write it down, 150 divided by 30 equals 5, okay, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and um, yeah, so take the 70, the AB is, right, because we know that's the one that corresponds with FE, and we'd, 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 we'd times it by 5, um, and that would be 350 centimetres, or if you want to put it in metres, uh, you could divide by 103.5 meters. I'll put 3.5 meters as another option, uh, as an answer. Okay, because these ones were in meters originally. Final length for CB. So CB is here to here. Um, F to C is the corresponding side length on this triangle. Remember, this one's smaller. Um, triangle ABC is smaller. Go away for that thing. Thank you. Um, 180 is the calculation. Um, divided by five that we need to do all right um i'm just going to bring the calculator in to do that because i can't be faff to think about what it is i know it's easy all right 36 there we go it's 36 centimeters because that was i've got it converted into centimeters and that divided by my scale factor it gives me the smaller length there so bc or cb equals 36 centimeters Okay, in that first one, F E equal 350 centimeters. All right, I think I'm just going to go have a lie down because I'm pretty tired. Uh, but hopefully, all of that's made sense. Hopefully, I haven't made any mistakes. Um, thank you for watching all of these. Uh, there will be some more in this geometry, angles, measures, and stuff section. Um, it will be coming up pretty shortly uh, to the end of this topic. And we only have a couple of uh, topics to go. And then you'll just be able to practice everything. All right, over and over and over and over again, and I'll try and create loads of resources for you. So please like if you've liked this video. Um, tell me to record it again when I'm a little bit more awake if you want. Um, take care of yourselves. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.